gentleman from California is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank the gentleman for yielding and for his leadership. Also, I'd like to thank uh, our speaker, our leadership, Chairman Skelton, Chairman Lantos, uh, Congresswoman Ileana Ross-Layton, and all others for uh, really bringing this critical measure to a vote today. What this legislation does is very simple. It does what the Iraq Study Group and other experts have recommended that we do. It makes a clear statement of policy that the United States does not intend to maintain an open-ended military presence in Iraq and that we will not exercise control over Iraqi oil and it backs up that policy with the power of the purse and the president and his administration to this date and I mean to this date have not made a clear statement of this policy putting Congress on record with this clear statement helps take the target off our troops back it supports our goals of handing over responsibility for security and public safety to Iraqi forces. Mr. Speaker, the perception that the United States plans to maintain a permanent military presence in Iraq strengthens the insurgency and it fuels the violence against our troops. That is why experts ranging from former advisor to the Coalition Provisional Authority, Larry Diamond, to the Iraq Study Group, have called on the President to make a clear statement of policy that the United States does not intend to maintain permanent military bases or an open-ended military presence in Iraq. Unfortunately, the administration has refused to do that. In fact, there are conflicting accounts as to who will decide if we stay in Iraq permanently. When the President was asked that question at a press conference last October, he said, any decisions on permanency in Iraq will be made by the Iraqi government. But when Secretary Gates was asked, is our President left up to the Iraqis or do we make the decision in testimony before the Senate this February, Secretary Gates said we will make this decision. More recently, the administration has further muddied the waters by saying that they envision a United States military presence in Iraq similar to that we have in South Korea where American troops have been stationed for more than 50 years and won't be leaving anytime soon. We must soundly reject the vision of an open-ended occupation as bad policy and undermines which undermines the safety of our troops, and we must recognize it for what it is, another recruiting posture for terrorists. To those who raise objections or who want to suggest that this is only a symbolic measure or to raise semantic questions about what a permanent base is, let me say this. This is a serious issue, and I think we should all recognize how much is at stake. The question is simple. Do we support an endless occupation or do we oppose it? We may disagree on many things about Iraq, but I hope that we can agree that an endless occupation is not the answer. Let's make that commitment that day. Let's put the so-called Korea model in. Let's young men and women that when they come home, they will all come home. Let's, pa let's pass this legislation. I want to thank Congresswoman Woolsey and Waters, Price and Allen for their support. Thank you. Thank you.